a real big journal entry has account, has debits, credits, descriptions, names, location, class. It has everything. So uh, let's export it first. God. <laughs> uh. And then, so I export it, and it comes out looking like this. <laughs> okay, perfect. So I would just for the sake of time, uh, maybe just limit it to like twenty lines. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's not as fast as an API-based journal entry import, but <laughs> what we but could do. And this is actually one of the quirks. Let me do one thing real quick let's make uh, yeah, a new okay. journal entry make a new one make a new one yeah yeah so there's a couple so a couple there's a couple of use cases for this one is you have a journal entry you uh, export it make changes to it import it again two you have maybe a template in excel somehow and <clears throat> all you're going to do is change the numbers or change the class or change the location and you want to bring it in the point is, you already have a spreadsheet with something that looks like a journal entry. Um, you want to make the columns expand them a little bit, just yeah. I try to make it so it expands, but still is enough room that you can. <laughs> yeah. So, so I assume that you have all this information: account name, debit, credit, description, name, location, class, everything. So we stress tested, stress tested it pretty hard. So you, you're going to copy the information, um, except the headers for now. So go ahead and yeah, select. Exclude that. <laughs> so no, no headers. OK. So we copy that. Copy. And then we can just come over here. There's a button up here that's paste from Excel when you hover over it. And so what it does is, because there's no way to get all the information for the chart of accounts from this page, I have to go through each of the lines and find what all the chart of accounts are. But once you paste inside of here, it automatically populates this table for you. And this will tell you if there are valid uh, inputs for each of these accounts, classes, names, what have you. Let's, let's do an example. Go, go, go to cancel for a second. Go to cancel. And then go back to the spreadsheet. And change, um, change that maybe, yeah, just put BOA or BO. That's fine. That's fine. And then just put, and then on one of these, just type parent. One of those, just type parent. Yeah. 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 And then we can just copy this thing again. So we built up some nuance on this. So sometimes, like it needs to be, I mean, it should be verbatim, hopefully. You have it verbatim, but sometimes it happens where things don't match exactly. So you can explain what the yellows are. Yeah, so if you ever have something where it's not an exact match to how QuickBooks Online has it, and it could be murky in terms of which class it could be, what happens is if you just click on the yellow, it will pop up a list up top here that will automatically, if you click on one, let's say that for this one, we knew it was parent class three, then all we'd have to do is click parent class three and it automatically fills that in. Working on but the- But if uh, your Excel is clean, you don't have to worry about this. Yeah, exactly. But it's just a way of making sure that you don't post anything to the wrong account or get caught up anywhere. Right. And we can't create accounts from here, not yet. Yeah. So, and then over here for the BOA, there's all these that have potential to have the word BO in it. <laughs> right. So, it, we can just go BOA 112 is the account that we want for this. And bam, it's good to go. Now we're going to click on run it and put our hands up in, the, in our heads. Okay. 